Now at six, a grandmother recovering from multiple strokes is trying to avoid a setback. Plans to put in a new concrete driveway so she can take walks and exercise are being delayed. Our TV sixes Rafael Sanchez is working for you tonight on the project that's become a problem. How you can avoid this happening to you. This is not what Marcia Johnston had envisioned. It's been a rocky start to a project meant to help her mother. The current condition of the driveway is a problem for Rosie Jones of Indianapolis. She's on the road to recovery after two strokes. She was hoping the concrete driveway would be done so that she could exercise and strengthen her mobility. What's the first thing you're gonna do when that driveway is done? I'm gonna walk the driveway, push myself in the stroller up to get exercise. So you are ready to take that walk? I'm ready to take that walk. Just last month, Rosie's daughter, Marcia Johnson, she hired William Presley Jr. concrete and masonry work out of Anderson to replace their driveway. She paid a deposit of $7,500. Johnson says the job was to be done May 19th. She lost faith in the contractor, she says, especially since the tear-out also caused damage to her neighbor's driveway, which is now an unforeseen expense. William Presley Jr. tells RTV6 that he had equipment issues and wants to finish the job. He's told me that his Bobcat, his equipment broke down, and that because of the rain, he was unable to get the job done in time. Will you keep him on the job? No. Because? Because I don't feel he has the expertise to complete this job correctly. I don't want a job done and then I have to tear it up or pay someone else to repair what's not done correctly. At this point, I want to pay him for what he did and I want the remaining of the money so that I can pay for it to be done quickly and correctly. Despite our attempts to resolve this with the contractor, Marcia has decided that she does not want him on her property and will instead take him to court. In Indianapolis, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. Thanks, Rafael. And Presley Jr. tells RTV6 that he can repay Miss Johnson her money in installments. He said he did not have the cash on hand to make a full payment today. Marcia says she learned a lesson she hopes will save you money. I've learned that you don't give anybody a big deposit. If they don't have enough money to do the job without a big deposit, then that should be a red flag. I also learned that I should have done a little more research in the work that he had previously done. And if you need us to look into an issue on your behalf, send us an email to workingforyou at rtv6.com.